Santa knows where to find all the best and hottest smartphones just in time to make this Christmas better and bigger than ever. Better service, bigger savings. That's today's Appalachian Wireless. Ho, 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 ho. In July, EKB News brought you the story of an attempted grave robbery in Martin County. The grave that was disturbed was that of Emily Howard, and the incident left family members hurt and confused. It's hard, you know. It's your family. Nobody wants to come up here for that. Nobody should have to. No family should have to. I mean, why? It's hard enough to go through a funeral. But 15 years later, have somebody come and dig your mother up. That's despicable. Absolutely despicable. Within just a few days, the Martin County Sheriff's Department arrested 35-year-old Jennifer Luster and 33-year-old James Howard, both of Inez, and charged them with violating graves. Today, both Luster and Howard appeared in Martin County Circuit Court for sentencing. James Howard was sentenced to serve one year in jail, and Jennifer Luster was also sentenced to serve one year in jail, but that sentence was probated for three years. Mr. Howard was actually the individual that basically made the decision to do this, began engaged in doing this, did the actual physical activities involved in the crime. Ms. Luster was charged as a complicitor to Mr. Mr. Howard and her husband, T.J. TJ Luster. She, and in fact, was just the driver and provided us, basically provided the material aid in driving them to the location. She was not involved in any way in the desecration of the graves. Howard was credited with time served and looks to serve out his sentence in March. Reporting from Inez, I'm Sean Allen for EKB News.